so uh, good morning to everyone present here today we group 10 are going to give presentation on the topic that is enterprise resource planning um now for that first let us look into what are the key topics that are we are going to discuss in this presentation first one is what is erp then we'll uh, go into uh two uh, two tier enterprise resource planning erp business modules benefits of erp disadvantages of erp what can cause an erp implementation failure uh sap erp and then finally we'll con conclude this presentation so um the first uh thing we need to know about is <coughs> that what is erp uh, actually so enterprise uh, the enterprise resource planning uh, is a cross uh, functional software that supports all business units within our on organization as such erp helps to manage the business processes of different departments and functions through a centralized application this makes up to date information available to all departments at all times it also fa facilitates greater transparency and unified action within an e-commerce company now erp systems tie together a multitude of business processes and enable the flow of data between them by collecting an organization's shared transactional data from multiple sources erp systems eliminate data duplication and provide data integrity with a single source of truth today this is why erp systems are critical for managing thousands of business of all sizes and in all industries industries to these companies erp is an in, uh, indispensable as the electricity that keeps the lights on now next comes is what is two tier enterprise resource planning uh, as a company expands whether or uh, organically or through mergers or and acquisitions the benefits of a unified view into financial systems don't diminish So two tier ERP is an approach to enterprise resource planning technology that uses two systems to address the needs of large businesses with multiple locations or subsidiaries. Under this strategy headquarters will use a tier 1 ERP that's highly customized and has the functionality to run a large global company while subsidiaries or smaller business units use a less res uh, resource in intensive tier 2 ERP that better suits their needs with two tier ERP the business integrates the two ERP systems so information automatically flows from tier 2 to tier 1 this allows for ma uh, master data management or a single source of accurate data for the entire enterprise this uh, erp strat uh, strategy has nowadays become popular as vendors have developed less expensive suits with more prebuilt functionality as alternatives to legacy erp systems that burdened companies with long expensive and usually on premises implementation and ex extensive configuration requirements many companies have realized uh, that a two tier approach is far more economical and less work than replacing the tier 1 ERP or moving a new subsidiary or acquired company into this enterprise software now i would like to call nilodpal to continue from the next slide thank you thank you rima my name is nilodpal ghosh and today i will be talking talking about different ERP business modules so the financial the finance and accounting module is the most important erp module because it allows businesses to understand their current financial state and future outlook the key features of this module include tracking accounts payable and accounts receivable and managing the general ledger it also creates and stores crucial financial documents like balance sheets payment receipts and tax statements under sales related there are three modules the e-commerce module marketing automation and the supply chain 
The supply chain management module tracks each step in movement of supplies and goods throughout the supply chain, from sub suppliers to suppliers to manufacturers to distributors to retailers or consumers. It can also manage any materials or products uh, returned for refund or replacement. Next is production modules. It is divided into many modules starting from procurement, manufacturing, inventory management, order management and warehouse management. All these modules help the business at the production level. The human resource management mo or HRM module, also known as the human capital management HCM module, usually encompasses all the features of a workforce management application and offers additional capabilities. HRM could be viewed as uh, CRM for employees. This popular module has detailed records on all employees and stores documents like performance reviews, job description and offer letters. It tracks not only hours work or, but also paid time off which is the sick days and benefits. And finally the customer relationship management or the CRM module. The CRM module stores all customers and product uh, and prospect uh, information. That includes uh, company's communication history with the person, the date, time of calls and emails, for example, uh, and their purchase history. A CRM improves customer service because staffers can easily access all the information they need when working with a customer. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of ERP software in a business. The key benefits of ERP software include enhanced business reporting, better customer service, improved inventory cost, boosted cash flow, cost savings, better, better data and cloud security, business process improvements and supply chain management. Moving on to the disadvantages or the cons of ERP. Uh, the first one is cost of an ERP software. So in an ERP software, there are uh, we have to include many third party software add-ins which will increase the cost of the software. There are also implementation costs, maintenance costs and initial and continuous training costs. Number two complex data conversion. Developing a solid data conversion strategy can be difficult. You have to define, examine and analyze data sources. Bad data conventions will cause delays and increase cost. And finally number three, it requires thorough training. Training needs to cover all of the ERP systems features. ERP training sessions need to be in line with the business processes. IT users need to be trained for the technical aspects of the ERP system. ERP projects are an investment of time and money and the most successful ERP software implementation required alignment between the business and IT, executive sponsorship and support, internal team leaders and trusted external partners. From the next slide, Shubhranil will continue on. Thank you. Good morning, sir. My name is Shubhranil and today I am going to tell about what can cause an ERP implementation failure. So the first one is data conversion. Uh, data conversion is one of the main reasons why uh, an ERP implementation project misses goals such as deadline, budget or even uh, The second one is integration. So ERP integration is the act of connecting a company's ERP system to other software systems or applications. Uh, the third reason for implementation failure is the people. Uh, the fourth reason for ERP implementation failure is uh, training. And the fifth reason is project training. So next slide please. Uh, now let's discuss about SAP ERP. So SAP ERP is an enterprise resource training software developed by the German company SAP AC. SAP ERP incorporates the key business function of an organization the latest version of SAP ERP was made available in 2006 and the most recent enhancement package for SAP ERP was released in 2015. Uh, the original name for SAP is System Analysis Program Development 
and it is also made available in 35 different languages so the next slide will be presented by shayan so now let's look at some issue related to erp so first question is which of the following describe an erp system and first option is erp system provides a foundation for collaboration between department second option is erp system enables people in different businesses area to consist communicate third is erp system have been widely adopted in large organization to store digital knowledge used to make the digital that drive the organization organization performance and fourth is all of the above. so correct answer is option d but all of the above describe a erp system now second question Yes. So, second question is, what is at the heart of any ERP system? Options are information, employees, customers, and database. So, correct answer is option D, that is database, because the heart of an ERP system is a central database. Third question. Okay. Third question is, what must a system do to qualify as a true ERP solution? Options are B, flexible. the modular and closed option c is extent within the company and fourth is all of the above so correct answer is all of the above because to qualify as a true erp solution the system must be flexible modular and open now last question yes so last question is which of the following is a reason for erp is explosive to and options are erp is a logical solution to the mess of incomplete application second is erp addresses the need for global information sharing and reporting three is erp is used to avoid the pain and expense of fixing legacy system and option d is all of the above so they are also correct answer is option d that is all of the above now next slide please Okay, now comes the conclusion part. So, first, ERP is a system that integrates business functions by managing and organizing, organizing, organizing data and information. Also, ERP is the most reliable system for the management of data, ensuring its reliability, uniformity, and transparency. Now, it ensures the access of the integrated. Valuable business information to all of the member of the organization, and ERP system manages important data in an effective way, avoiding its redundancy and validity. The entire process. The next slide. So now these are the references we have used for this project. I thank you. Thank you. Very good presentation. You have taken the SAP part. Thank you. Thank you. You may you may leave. You. Next group can come. Thank you.